Karma has three effects. Karma, action has three effects in the, in the sense we mean karma. What are the three effects? One is the immediate effect. You give food to a hungry person, the hungry person is fed and the hunger is removed. Direct effect, everybody sees it, no question about it. Second is what you said, an effect on your own mind. Keep doing it and you develop the good habit of sharing, the joy of doing things for others. Psychological effect, it's called samskara. Third one is karma phala, which we talked about here. In Sanskrit, papa punya, merit, demerit, which will result in some pleasant or unpleasant effect, sukha, dukkha. So the law is like this, dharma, good action, consciously done, leads to punya. These are words which are used by just about every Indian, but we use it unthinkingly. Dharma leads to punya, punya means merit. Merit leads to sukha. Happiness. So the meaning is all good things which are happening to us now are because of some merit we have. And that we earned in earlier lives. But equally, all the unpleasant things happening to us, nobody's fault. It's we who have generated it. We've set in motion mighty energies, though subtle, in some ancient time, and the result we are getting now. So adharma leads to papa. Papa means sin or demerit. And papa leads to dukkha. And they are all limited. Consciously done good action generates some limited amount of merit. That generates some limited amount of nice things. Similarly. So and that's why there is no unlimited heaven or unlimited hell. Uh, there are limited heavens and limited hells. And they are all worldly. This worldly, that worldly, but all worldly. They are not spiritual. Spirituality is freedom from all of this. Freedom from the whole mess. Worldly mess and other worldly mess. Worldly mess is called this. And other worldly mess is that. That stands for heaven and hell. Both are mess. <laughs> and freedom from this causality is... So Swami Vivekananda's um, poem, Good, good, bad, bad, and none escape the law, but whosoever wears a form, wears the chain to... This much is karma. Then what is Vedanta? Far beyond name and form is Atman ever free. No, thou art that. Say Om Tat Sat. Uh, now thou art that sannyasi bold. Say Om Tat Sat. So on that beautiful note, let's end.